Please be seated. I would like to ask you to turn your cell phones off, please. Good and loving God, we give you thanks for the opportunity to play a part in the lives of our new graduates. We are grateful for your guidance and love as we share this important work. Please bless and guide our graduates as they reach this milestone in their lives and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned by being here at Central Piedmont Community College allow them to truly become leaders in our community. Finally, Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to build our community with these young men and women. Though soon they will be leaving Central Piedmont, we know that they will always be with us as part of the Central Piedmont family. And we ask that you please create and remain, no matter how far they go, in time or a distance. In your holy name, we pray. Amen. I am Dr. Jim Dunn, board vice chair and trustee, and I want to welcome all of you to the celebration that's already started from what I can see here. Uh, to the guests, if you don't know anything, do know that these individuals have gotten the best education in a community college in this country. So. So let me introduce those seated on the stage behind me. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Please stand as I call your name. On the first, first row beginning on my right is Mr. Khalif Robes, trustee. Ms. Lucia Griffin, trustee. Ms. Cecilia Ramirez, trustee. Ms. Maria Fernanda Moreno Tovar, graduate. Dr. Candy Dedemeyer, President. Dr. Heather Hill, Provost. Ms. Kimberly Amory, College Senate. Ms. Radija Sawyer, Graduate. Mr. Jeff Lawrence, Vice President of Communications, Marketing, and Public Relations. You may be seated. On the second row, again, starting on my right, Mr. Chris Patterson, trustee, Mr. Gabriel Esparza, trustee, Ms. Janet Labar, trustee, Mr. Mike Hawley, trustee, Dr. Chris Cathart, vice president of student affairs, Mr. Rick Fogarty, vice president of information technology and chief information officer, Mr. Mark Short, Chief of Staff. Mr. Mike Whiteman, Vice President of Finance and Administrative Services. And Ms. Lisa Schlachter, Vice President of Institutional Advancement. You also may be seated. Thank you. Good morning. I am Candy Dedemeyer. It's a privilege to serve as president every day. But at this time, I'd like to recognize Kim Amory on behalf of the College Senate to come forward and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning. On behalf of Central Piedmont Community College Senate, we welcome you to the May 2023 College Commencement Ceremony. Please stand and join with me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, 
one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, good morning. This is a celebration, so we're going to try that one more time. Good morning. Well, I now know everybody's in the house, so that's good. New graduates of Central Piedmont Community College, are you excited to be here this morning? Well, we are excited as well. You saw the faculty on both the left and the right giving you um, loud cheers this morning and with their pom-poms. So where's my faculty? Can, let me see those pom-poms one more time. Look at them. Very excited for all of you. Very excited for all of you. Well, I want you to know that we are very excited to see you before us this day. And I want to also personally just say to you how proud I am of you. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Central Piedmont, it is my distinct honor to say we are thrilled for each and every one of you. And like your family and your friends, we are so very proud of all that you've accomplished and you are actually sitting here today. This is a great day and a great time for celebration. We thank you. We take it very seriously. You had a lot of options. We thank you for choosing Central Piedmont. We thank you for allowing us to be part of your journey, for being a part of your story, for allowing all of us to assist you on your path to achievement and your success. So congratulations again to each one of you. Absolutely, let's collab that, absolutely. So if it's okay, family and friends, I wanna take a moment and brag on this very um, large and impressive class of 2023. In this class, we have more than 1,500, 1,508 to be exact, total students who are graduating today. Please give them all a round of applause. It gets better. So it's not just about size, it's also about distinction. Among them are 1,310 who will graduate with a degree or a diploma. 154 who are finishing our career and college readiness programs, 198 are completing a certificate, and the average grade point average for this distinguished class is 3.38. Absolutely, congratulations. A tremendous indication of the hard work and dedication to your studies. I call you all scholars, and I'm so very proud that you have distinguished yourself with such a high grade point average. Among our career and college readiness graduates, there are 44 students who are completing a high school credential today. So congratulations to you specifically, absolutely, congratulations. So to those of you, the 44, that means this is your first time sitting in the audience. I encourage you to continue going and be back here when you finish another certificate, a degree, or a diploma so we can celebrate with you and your families once again. The class of 2023 is full of distinguished graduates, as I said, and you will hear from one of them in just a few minutes. And while there are too many great stories to mention, each one individually, which I wish I could, I think we have 900 students who have chosen to participate either in this morning ceremony or this afternoon of the 1,500 graduates. So it's gonna take us a minute to get everybody across the stage and each one of you are so very important. But I wanted to share a couple of stories about a few of your fellow graduates today because I wanted your family and friends to understand that we have a rich diversity amongst our graduating class and I wanted to share that diversity with you. Zachary Moore had been out of high school for five years and like many of you, experienced loss of a loved one. His grandfather and role model passed away just before his first semester at Central Piedmont. And then last semester, he abruptly lost his father. When he wanted to give up, he reminded himself many times that he had enrolled to make his family proud and credits our superb faculty and staff for helping him persist by providing important guidance and mentorship. 
So Zachary's story ends on a very high note, and he's just getting started. Today he will graduate with a 4.0 GPA. I'm going to let you celebrate a lot today, so take all the time you need. But his story gets better. Not only will he graduate with a perfect GPA, a 4.0, he's been accepted to both Columbia University and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. So I think it's okay to say, I know if his grandfather and father were here today with the rest of his family, they would tell Zachary how proud they are of him. Latrell Grady is graduating from the Cato Campus Middle College today with both a high school diploma and his Central Piedmont Associate's degree. That in itself is quite the feat. It gets better. He has received more than $1 million in scholarship offers, including full scholarships from four different universities. So he had the pick of the litter, I guess is what you could say. He has chosen to go to UNC Chapel Hill as a Moorhead Kane Scholar, and we are so very proud of him. Congratulations. Mukinsi Zayla, one of our surgical tech graduates, moved to the United States from Honduras with her mother 10 years ago. After crime took the lives of her father and many family friends and family members. She overcame language barriers, graduated high school at the age of 16, and with many dreams and hopes to achieve. However, she felt her path toward achievement was narrow, both because of her financial circuit circumstances and her immigrant status. Central Piedmont helped her to conquer those possibilities that we offer to so many. By attending college with financial scholarships in an environment that not only embraced her but removed all the prejudices of being an immigrant. She says, it doesn't matter that I'm an immigrant or have an accent. Central Piedmont accepts me for who exactly I am. So congratulations to her as well. Griffin Chernus, who is graduating today from the Levine Campus Middle College, applied to multiple Ivy League universities. He was accepted to Princeton, Penn, and Brown. He has, absolutely, that deserves a, whale, a real big round of applause. Are you waiting to see what he's chosen? He has chosen to attend Brown. Congratulations to him. It gets better. He has decided to go to Brown at 17, I might add, because he has also gained admission to Brown's program in liberal medical education, which is essentially direct admission to medical school, which combines undergraduate education and professional studies in medicine in a single eight-year program. That is distinguished. <laughs> Diana Johnson began her educational journey at Central Piedmont in 2006, right after giving birth to her daughter. She was a single parent, and she had a lot on her plate. And at that time, she wasn't able to finish school. She returned to Central Piedmont in 2016, but had, again had some circumstances that stood in her way. She wanted to complete a degree in early childhood. Well, in 2021, not to be deterred, she found herself depressed without much career direction, working two jobs, but she knew that she wanted stability for herself and her daughter. So again, she returned to Central Piedmont, refocused on the pursuit of her dreams and her life for a better life. And today, Diana is graduating with her Associate in Arts degree in Early Childhood Education. I believe that might be her on the front aisle. I wish you had my spot, because I can see the emotion in her face. She wants others to know that the path to achieving your education and career is not always a straight line. 
And while your path might each look different, the destination today is still the same. Congratulations to you, sweetheart. So as with these graduates, great stories. Central Piedmont is proud of each of you. And we know your future is bright, and we look forward to seeing all that you accomplish as you move forward. All combined, this class of 2023 represents a wonderful and determined and skilled talent pi pipeline ready to make its mark in our community, maybe across the nation, likely in the world. And we couldn't be more proud. Each of you has a great story already, a great story today, and a great story in the future. And my encouragement to each one of you is to tell it, to shine brightly, make us proud, you now wear the badge of honor, which we call Central Piedmont. Wear it well and stay in touch with us. We are always seeking great stories, and we will be following you, because I know people. Just say. <laughs> well, we have a great speaker for you today, speaking of those great stories. But before we get to that, family and friends, how are we feeling? Excited? <laughs> I know that you are very proud of them, and so we look forward to each one of them crossing the stage in just a few minutes. But before we do that, it has become a tradition at Central Piedmont because we are very focused on our students, as you have seen, hopefully throughout your student's journey, but as you will see today as we celebrate each student. And I wanna say this to students before I invite the student speaker up. It's okay to smile when you come across the stage. It's a little nerve wracking, and I often have to say and whisper to you, it's okay to smile. So I'm telling you up front, it's okay to smile. We're gonna take your picture. We wanna make sure you're, you're in a happy, joyful mood. So it's okay to smile. Don't be nervous. You've made it, so don't, don't be nervous at this point. Well, it's been a tradition, as I said, um, to welcome one of our students to the podium, to offer a congratulatory message to our students, to really share their story and their experience. And so this year, we are proud to welcome Maria Fernanda Marino Tavar, who is graduating from Central Piedmont today with an associate in arts degree. Before I tell you her story, I want to recognize her family. Would you please stand? I also want to look at the camera and say to her mom, who is in Mexico watching on the live stream, Congratulations to you. I'm so sorry you couldn't join us today, but I know you're very proud of your daughter. So thank you for tuning in. Fernanda moved to the United States from Mexico City three years ago. While completing her Associates of Arts at Central Piedmont, she has also been completing virtual law courses at a college in her home country of Mexico. She is a Charlotte Racial Justice Consortium Student Fellow, a Ruth G. Shaw Leadership Program Scholar, and a North Carolina Global Scholar. In the fall, she will transfer to the University of North Carolina, Charlotte, to pursue a bachelor's degree in criminal justice, as her goal is to become an immigration attorney. It is my pleasure and really my privilege to introduce our speaker, a graduate of Central Piedmont's class of 2023, Fernanda Marina Tabar. Marina? Dear graduates, faculty, staff, and distinguished guests, it is a great honor and privilege to welcome you all to this very important occasion. Today, we gather to celebrate the remarkable achievements of our graduating class, whose hard work, dedication, and perseverance have brought them to this significant milestone. This is a great day of joy and excitement as we applaud the success of our graduates and acknowledge the invaluable support of their families, friends, and mentors. I want to share with you part of the story that allowed me to be standing here today. When I was little, I used to live in a very poor area of Mexico City. My family isn't rich, but my mom decided 
that the place and the conditions we lived in were not going to define my future. She chose to send me to a private school where I would learn English, and against everyone's better judgment telling her we couldn't afford it or it was out of reach, she found the school and she sent me there. None of us could have predicted where that would lead me to, but she and my dad made their best effort to pay for the school where I learned my second language. Now, we see where I'm standing and we realize it was the best decision they could have ever made. If there's two things that I would like you to take away from this speech are the next. The first is struggle makes magic. I heard this phrase from a very successful woman when she talked about her own struggle and it spoke to me. Along the journey that led me here, I had to deal with abuse, bullying, and economic uncertainty. But I knew my parents' effort couldn't be for nothing. About three years ago, I made the hardest decision of my life and moved here, leaving everything behind to pursue my American dream. I had to restart my academic career, and I was nervous about finding the right place to do so. I knew where I landed would be key in shaping my future, and now I see I couldn't have been more blessed to find Central Piedmont. An important part of my success was finding a sense of belonging and a supportive community, and Central Piedmont gave me both. I found people that care about the same social issues as me thanks to the Charlotte Racial Justice Consortium. I found the Root G. Shaw Mentors Program, where along with my peers, I learned how to be a better leader from other successful women. And I found teachers and faculty members that constantly pushed me to be the best student I could be. Being here hasn't been easy. I had to face the pandemic in a new country where I didn't know anyone. I wasn't able to go home to my grandma's funeral so I could maintain my immigrant status. And I've had to deal with missing the people and the home I left behind. But these struggles created the magic that motivated me to work harder. The second thing I would like you to remember is that you should take the leap of faith. As an immigrant myself, I recognize I have been incredibly privileged to have the support and the opportunities I've had. But it's always been my constant perseverance that has made me look for more. I was 21 when I took the leap of faith and moved here. My entire life has changed for the better. I met my amazing husband and I and I have opportunities that I wouldn't have had in Mexico. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not always this brave. There have been times where I get scared I made the wrong decision. I look around me and I see all my friends here living in the houses they bought and working a job they love. And I see my friends in Mexico graduating law school and it aches to know that that could have been me. I then turn around and I see myself at 24 with a long way to go, not being able to work yet, not graduating law school, and I feel like I am so far behind. But then I look around me one last time and I see all the moms and the dads that are graduating with me today. I see all the people that completely changed career paths and I realize that it is just my fear talking. We are not behind. We are on our own time. Fear will always be present. It has always been around in my life, but we can't let it define our future. And even though my mom couldn't be here, I know she and my dad are both so proud to see their hard work is paying off. 
I would also like to thank my husband and my parents-in-law, who have been some of the biggest support along my journey. I am lucky to have such loving and caring people by my side. As I am standing here today, I am confident that Central Piedmont gave me the right tools to continue chasing my academic goals. I am also confident that just like mine, your struggle can make magic if you take the leap of faith. Thank you. Thank you, Fernanda, for the inspiring remarks. That was pretty incredible. Many of our graduates have overcome challenges to be here today. They have balanced job duties and family responsibilities along with their schoolwork. They have persisted and even excelled in their studies. Students wearing gold sashes are members of Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society. This society is the overarching honor society for all others here at the college. Will those students wearing gold, gold stoles and sashes please stand to be recognized? Thank you. Your program includes a list of honor societies available to students in particular academic programs and disciplines. If you are a member of any honor club or organization, will you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. There are four middle colleges located on Central Piedmont campuses, and 180 of you have completed your studies there this year. If you are a middle college student graduating today with your high school diploma and your associate's degree, will you please stand and be recognized? And by the way, these graduates have an average GPA of 3.47 in their degree programs. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> Students who have maintained a 3.5 to 3.69 grade point average out of a possible 4.0 on their academic record are wearing white honor cords around their neck. Please stand as a group and be recognized. Thank you. Students whose grade point average is between 3.7 and 3.99 are wearing purple cords. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Students who have maintained a 4.0 grade point average, straight A's in all of your courses, are wearing gold cords. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Students who are actively serving or are veterans of the United States Armed Forces are wearing red, white, and blue braided cords. Will you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Wow, let's give them all a round of applause one more time for that distinguished <laughs> academic career. 
Well, graduates, I hope that you would agree that you have not reached today's milestone alone. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. So I'm going to give you a couple of um, opportunities. The first, I would hope that you would agree that, first, I believe that we have the greatest faculty in the country. I would agree with that, please, yes. Absolutely, congratulations um, for having had the, actually the benefits of being in the class with this amazing faculty. So um, I'm gonna ask my faculty if they would to please rise. Thank you so much for what you do. Um, to the family and friends, this really is a tremendous group of subject matter experts and professionals that we've had, that I've had the distinguished pleasure of working alongside. And so students, would you stand and congratulate this faculty for what they do and for helping you to get to today. Give them your great appreciation. Thank you so much. Thank you, faculty. Well, along with our faculty, we have a great staff, and so I know many of our staff, whether it's an academic advisor or someone who works in student affairs or even somebody you meet across campus who works in so many other areas, have probably made an impact on you as you have been through this journey. So I want to give you a chance, if you would, to thank our staff for all they've done to help you get here today as well. So would you congratulate the staff and give them a little bit of thanks as you finish up your academic career with us? So, along with the faculty and staff, probably the individuals who are in this room with you today, your family, your friends, perhaps your uh, extended family, your children maybe, they certainly have been with you from the moment that you decided to take this on, probably through every single day as you had to study or bring you a lunch or to sit with you or maybe turn the lights out when you fell asleep studying. Um, so I want you to rise, if you will, look around, find your families, so that if you have not already, and would you please give a thank you to your family and friends. Before we present um, the candidates, I can tell that the family and friends maybe need to let it out a little bit. So family and friends, if you will rise and please give the 2023 class a little bit of love before we actually ask them to cross the stage. Well, I'm not getting the signal, but if I don't make us move forward, you will miss the lunch that I'm sure all of you have planned. And we do have a two o'clock ceremony, so I have to not let you linger too much. I promise you'll get to celebrate some more in a minute. Well, to the graduates, we know that many of you have worked really hard, as Dr. Hill mentioned, um, perhaps working one or two jobs, maybe more to get through school. Many of you have continued to care for children and other family members. Many of you have taken on community service, just so many things uh, that have enriched your college experience, maybe made it a little bit more difficult. Um, hopefully you have appreciated that tenacity and the hard work as our speaker spoke, spoke about to get to today. And many of you have come to college after serving um, in our armed forces. And so I wanna say my personal thank you to all of you for your service. So on behalf of the college, again, we congratulate all of you and we respect the journey that you've traveled, each and every one of you, to place you among each of the distinguished group of graduates here today. And so now we come to the time that I think all of you have been waiting for, and it is my pleasure to welcome the college's provost, Dr. Heather Hill, back to the lec lectern, and she will present the graduates. Dr. Hill?
Dr. Dietemeyer, as the Chief Academic Officer of Central Piedmont Community College, I present these graduates to you on the recommendation of our faculty for conferral of degrees and diplomas. Graduates, please remain seated until your row is called to come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our desire that we recognize each graduate by name. Please make your applause brief so that we can hear each name as it is called. Courtney M. Cole. Lewis Bowman. Kenise Pierce. Rakeem Holloway. Chloe Hegedus. Callie Gunther. Morgan Anthony Jones. Isaiah Niles. Jasmine Mills. Jahia Lorena Hun. Tanika Ziegler. Diana Corinne Johnson. Trinity R. Sanford. Keisha E. Rayner. Jasmine D. Chambly. Alyssa Page Garland. Tatum D. Grace. Khalil Rogers, Nikhail Yasmin Davis, Molly Klein, Ava Elizabeth Humphreys, Chantel Belk, Reina Antonia Geisler, Samuel L. Hall. Claire Tate. Karen L. Hovensack. Jacqueline Denise Moffat. Amber Christina Townsend. Rain L. Wilkerson. Denise Vizcarra. Julisan Delia Vasquez Sandoval. Constance Ebube Agabur. Hafsa Omar Iziagu. 
Kimberly G. Guzman. Akil M. Brown. Davis R. Yonker. Caroline Michelle Alexander. Carla Denise Bradley. Garrett Jordan. Ashton Mackenzie Wood. Christopher Michael Matthews. Blake Thomas Rory. Jennifer Holly Henderson. Aya Abdul Karim. Carlin Hines. Celine Michelle Zakshak. Patricia Lowry Freeman. Deshaun James Jonathan Hammonds. Daniela Garcia. Pauline Bajembe Akachi. Giselle Elizabeth Rivera. Allison Babrel. Stacy S. Waldo. Anita Diane Hendricks. Veronica May Harless. Anna Ramos Machuca. George E. Smith. Elizabeth Gillespie. Jakari Vons. James Russell Dixon. Daniel R. Rosales Briones. Emily Elizabeth McMillan. Morgan Ashley Frank. Samantha Lee Tadlock. Ian Michael Hull. Bryn Mika Zelke. Quintarius L. Jackson. Anna Poonam Lamsall. Aisata Sako. Kayla Philadelphia. Liasia Anderson. Lamari Brown. Dorian Thomas. Robert Hampton Cope. Louis Baldassano. Mauricia Marcella Hunter. Deshaun Hagler. Deanna N. Smith. Angelina Davis. Katia Andreevna Rybin. Adam E. Lewis. Caleb W. Lemmings. Bao Ting Pang. Ekuo Ngongo. Malik Ijaz Ali Awan. Conceda Shade Cunningham. Laura Maria Saros Mendez. Latoya Young. 
Zoe Nicole Suggs. Jordan L. Henderson. Davis Will Freeman. Joshua Curtis. Archie Fordham. Samuel K. Clifton. Yanira Angelica Ortega Vasquez. Felisa Jones. Angie Jules. Tyler J. Hudson. Christopher Tao. Jamis Enriquez. Styles M. Dorsey. Brenna Elise Hart. Ekaterina Popov Tropina. Christine A. Sutterth. Aliyah Dean Robinson. Tasha McFadden. Aaron T. Thun. Jocelyn Sanchez Velasco. Gabriela Edith Mosquera Carranza. Princella M. Flores. Haley Marie Rogers. Chad Dellinger. Perla Joanna Villa Gomez. Kelly M. Campos. Douglas M. Innocenti Jr. Carrie W. Creech. Maya Brown. Lorena Elidet Silva. Supreme Justice Ackerman. Casey Aaron Kreger. Aaron Searcy. Tatum J. Bowen. Emma Catherine Fibbs. Emmanuel E. Pulliam. Jose Orquia. Aubrey Conrad. Zoe Ross Parker. Ibrahim H. Abdelrazig. Irina Gatman. April Lubin Osman. Jasmine Kayla Ortiz. Brittany Bertrand. Benjamin G. Nash. Brianna L. Kapheim. Hannah A. Patterson. Roxana Barros Alvarez. Skyla Johnson. 
Yadia S. Rory. Cameron Fraser Moses. Nautica K. Alston. Senya Vasquez. Jalissa A. Littlejohn. Jeffrey R. Starnes. Kenji Chakong Vang. Stephen C. Sawyer. Malia Ann Bell. Gabriella Emilia Urquiola. Christina Davis. Cynthia Rincon. Rashawn Peters. Michelle J. Haley. Genesis A. Yates. Jacqueline Danielle Mucky. Magan Abdul Hassan. Asia N. Robinson. Summer Hanoush. Maisha Morrison Byram. Liza Culvert. Celeste I. Boyd. Drew M. De Benedictus. Renee E. Thomas. LaShonda A. Joseph. Armand S. Carbassian. Jamaica Anara Miller. Chin T. Tanya M. Waite. Crystal Marie Carpenter. Sarah Flores. Marlene Artiaga Contreras. Kevin Brickhouse. Samuel D. Prentice. Sindel A. Cottle. Rachel A. Shelton. Bria Chenny. Natalie May Tepedino. Sydney Claire Strickland. Tan Sane. Lily Juancho McNeely. John Michael Lampkin. Eric A. Irvin.
Ariana Nicole Hover Torres. Lintha Shaikh. Marquetta Brock. Lucas Franco. Shaquana Alicia Griffin. Anna Imai. Zachary N. Moore. Makelia Van Riel. Jaden C. L. Law. Kevin Sanchez Pacheco. Bogdan Zaporozhets. Anna Alicia Pantoja. Eve Nicole Newton. Donquell Davis. Yawa Hilda Atichu. Lynn Del Pilar Garcia. Colby Alexandra Russell. Michael Kruszewski. Madeline Lippert. Emily Haltom. Estrella Alexandra Soto Inman. Leisha U. Wells. Brian W. Peacock. Yo Yo Tong. Taylor Lee Ripnix. Janae Alviola Porter. Manny N. Golf. Soraya T. Firms. Ines Gonzalez. Josue Guevara Molina. Allison Brooke Waddell. Kara Noel Daniel. Ricardo Bermonti. Rush Adrian Maston. Jasmine S. Banks. Faith Alexis Whitehead. Lakeisha I. Diggs. Essence Marshall. Shakia D. Farrell. Leah Jonas. Claudia Moreira Tavares. Nia S. Hinton. Juan Saw. Raquel Miller. Caroline N. Ratai. 
Vincent von Pakti. Noah S. Dormady. Norma Anais Gonzalez Munoz. Paula Spain. Angie Y. Molina Zuniga. Janaya McBean. Nawal O. Karshi. Nicole Tran. Lani Shong. Yasmin N. Freeman. Lukman Abdul Haq. Neha Partasarati. James T. DeRosa. Samuel A. Rich. Grayson P. Fullwood. Cody Presley. Alexandra Mbia. Lillian Grace Hall. Ola Basha Hasbini. Mectis Sierra Lugo. Anna Isabel De Simone. Gabriella Rose Lizal. Tan Tam Tui Lam. Dwayne P. Moore. Sabina Rose Loigers. Esmeralda Mejia Lucas. Cassandra R. White. Jordan T. Lopez. David A. Nieto Acevedo. Taylor Camille Holmes. Carrie A. Teshima. Angie Melissa Mejia Perez. Karina Heather Lynn McChesney. Emerald Lace Midget. Rosina? Rosina, good. Nikki Denise Johnson. Anthony Vines. Lainey Hinson. Courtney S. Astroff. Jimmy N. Pham. Eric De Jesus. Nyok Tai Mai Vu.
Yefimov. Yefimov. Elena Yefimov. Caitlin Lane. Omar Villarreal. Lena El Jaraya. Brittany Zacharias. Vanessa Felipa Ferreira Alves. David P. Edwards. Derek Robert Edwards. Taylor D. Allen. Kimberly Caroline Nelson. Luis Arias. Sara Lozic. Sukti Bandari. Catherine Engelbrack. Benjamin N. Wheeler. Jason Furtado. Jacob A. Sellers. Irene Diamond. Cassandra Jones. Laura Rios Fabra. Patricia Rosario. Rebecca Smith Cortez. Brooke R. Beard. Gabriella Marte. Salome Agbobli Atayi. Namortha M. Richmond. Elizabeth Silverio Valente. Jayasuda Adimulam. Jasmine Broadus. Elise June Jakubison. Arelli Elizabeth Vargas. Danielle Alvarenga Dos Santos Stedford. Lisa Sarley. Jyoti Sinclair O'Neill. Chadima Ogbona. Joseph Attilio Delapina Jr. Jeremiah Wisdom West. Jasmine Shamaya Noel Pridgen. Gabriel E. Portillo Barrios. Neri Ginto Avila. Karen Yvette Ray. Peter S. Campavong. Christopher D. McMillan. Ten Wen. Jack M. Huff. 
Anthony Saad. Samantha N. Wallach. Ricardo Avellaneda Pineda. Robert Maddox. Campbell T. Dixon. Holland S. Pankey. Christina C. Rodriguez. Fion Lin. William V. Millen. Roger Valdez. Bradley G. Rivenbark. Marisha Lene Jackson. Lena Shakhtur. Nidea Monet Mattox. Monique Rachel Love. Tammy Capello. Christina Lim Cozy. Jayasia Davis. Brianna Jeanette. Cindy Marie Brackman. Rie Yu Luck. April Michelle Anderson. Aliyah Anatalia Valadez. Catherine Fitzgerald. Savannah Regan Hans. Deja Rashida Drummond. Abina Bonsu. Avery Lynn Kane. Savannah Caitlin Morales. Corey Vincent Marquise Scott. Jalisa Brianna Spears. Sitali Ramos. Laquasia Monet Wells. Jeffrey Love. Juliana Yakabova. Margaret E. Krasewski. Sebastian Lopez. Menelik T. Simons. Carly Marvel Santiago. Rhonda Michelle Washington. Christian Curtis McCowan. Yamir Preston. Roberto A. Gutierrez. Ryan A. Monroe. Kelly Marie Taylor. Cristal Munoz Ramos. Brianna Victoria Birch. 
Lydie V. Lopez. Rachel E. Mingledorf. Amber B. Kraus. Regan Elizabeth Renner. Lauren Elizabeth Malone. Catherine Elizabeth Reynolds. Kaylee Hope Fields. Tabitha A. Bush. Volha Olga Spiridzenka. Anna Winter. Augustine K. Achao. Nilea Y. Falcone Guerrero. Delina Burhe. Ashley B. Barton. Elena Bailey. Zachary W. Hiley. Tanya Nikadam. Brittany Boulder. Olivia J. Gray. Jasmine Williams. Azel Perez Lopez. Yasmin Tyler Parker. Christina Martin Del Campo. Shima Alsadi. Tequila Oliver. Naina Melnikova. Marie Mimos Jacinth. Khalil Taylor. Lanaya Jelani Oliver. Jada N. Armstead. Benjamin A. Guzman Baroa. Duber Andres Morera Maestre. Kai J. Lindsay. Ayana Crystal Anastasia Lawrence. Robert Thompson. Brian Basto. Christy Emanuela Goiti Valentin. Crystal L. DePiero. Taylor A. Haney. Maria F. Moreno Tovar. So ladies and gentlemen, as our last graduate is returning to their seats, 
I do want everyone uh, with us today to be advised that our celebration includes a little bit of a surprise, a little bit of a ribbon canning, which includes a loud noise at its launch. So in an effort not to startle anyone, we just want to make that announcement. Um, so be ple please be prepared for this as we congratulate our graduates in just a moment. So will the candidates for graduation please rise? Class of 2023, by the authority vested in me by the governing board of Central Piedmont Community College, it is my pleasure to confer with all the honors and privileges appertaining thereto the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate upon these graduates. As, a custom, di as custom dictates, you may now move your tassel to the left side of your cap. And audience, continue to please congratulate this outstanding group of graduates. So graduates, if I could ask you to please be seated one last time. Again, on behalf of everyone at the college, this tremendous faculty, our great staff, the administration, and the board of trustees, I want to extend my gratitude and appreciation to each of you for, again, allowing us to be on your journey and to those on the platform with us today. Audience, I'd ask that you please remain in your seats until the recession recessional has completed, which will include our platform guests, then our graduates, and our faculty. Let everyone exit the arena. And at that time, we would ask that you would exit the front doors and greet your graduates at the front of the Coliseum. It is now my honor to ask Ms. Ramirez to come back to the podium and offer the benediction. Heavenly Father, we ask now that your almighty hand rest upon our graduates as they and their loved ones celebrate today's milestone. May they find comfort from our central community's continued embrace and support as they journey through life. May they find strength in the excellence of their academic preparation for with it, today they join the thousands of alumni who are their kindred companions. Bless their lives from this day forward with goodness and success, and enable them to stay true to their dreams, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use their gifts wisely and in service to others. In your holy name, we pray, amen.